test. I'm 
and I'll be posting the photos on Instagram really quick. So, um, so yeah, you'll just find it. So I think I'm asking about this. Okay. So I would just take. I'll stick these back in. You can grab some just right before the lunch you sit. And just during the part. So I mean, I can tell you what it is. Um, it's not until when Rachel goes a little bit, until anybody from Rachel comes upstairs, she's going to start to say, and then she'll start reading off, the, and it's really weird, and start talking about the game, um, if you'll just grab, you know, if we have actually so just so Sarah, Rachel is gonna wipe off. Yes. Yeah. 
everyone. Hello. It's so good to see everybody and be back in the same place or some of us and want to welcome everybody today to our first event back, um, our Greystone Power Luncheon. I'm Sarah Ray and the President and CEO of the Chamber. I'd also like to give a special welcome to our virtual attendees. We have a handful of our winners that are, are, all of our winners are here today, but we do have some of their employees that are attending virtually today, as well as some of our Cornerstone members and a handful of others. So just want to welcome everyone here today. Um, at this time, I'd like to invite Carl Peterson with Vibrant to come and offer our invocation and pledge. Hi. 
I'm going to go ahead and pray for us. Hey, dear Lord, I just come before you right now, and I thank you very much for each and every member of uh, this community and for the way that we all lead. I ask you right now for just wisdom as we navigate difficult days and have huge opportunities for massive change. Just uh, be with each and every person here, and uh, I'm thankful to be here myself. In your name, amen. All right, we're going to go ahead. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Carl. At this time, I'd like to take a moment to recognize a few of our um, dignitaries that are either here in person today or attending virtually. And that group includes our elected officials, our chamber board members, our visionary partners, chairman circle members, and our diplomats. So if you guys will just give them a round of applause and recognize them wherever they may be attending from. I'm also excited to announce we have two new Cornerstone investors joining that elite group of stakeholders with us today. At first, I would like to, or I guess first, I would like to invite our, our new visionary partner, Marcy Heath with Innovative Business Consulting or Benefits Consulting to provide a few remarks. Good afternoon, my name is Marcy Heath and I own Innovative Benefits Consulting. Basically what we do is manage and mitigate risk out of employee benefits. Um, I am so proud to be with you today and look forward to working with each of you. Thank you. Thank you, Marcy. We also have our newest Chairman Circle member here today, Ms. Shandrin Pemberton with PO Solutions, and I'd like for her to come up and provide a few remarks as well. Oh my goodness. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, again, my name is Shandrin Pemberton. I am actually the president and owner of PO Solutions. Uh, PO Solutions, we are a certified minority female-owned brokerage firm uh, based right here in Douglasville, Georgia. We've actually been around about 16 years. Uh, with regard to services, our, our special, uh, specific services that we do provide in terms of real estate, they're in the space of actually asset management um, as well as property management. Many of our clients vary from homeowner to condominium associations to very federal as well as county offices and agencies throughout the entire metro area. So um, being a, a small business owner, I must say in terms of um, as I've, I've gotten more involved in kind of understanding the challenges over the last 16 years and being in business as we move through, you know, what we're currently dealing with in the current state of economy, the more, you know, I've begun to volunteer and as well as getting involved kind of from a hands-on perspective with regard to small businesses. It allowed me to get much, much closer to the chamber, to the work at hand, and really just to the many, many services that are actually being administered through our Douglas Chamber. So for PO Solutions, it was actually a natural fit to uh, become a Cornerstone member. Um, I'm very uh, inspired. I feel actually compelled uh, to a degree as another small business owner to participate you know, at this particular level because again, once you get in there and you start that volunteer work and you, you begin to see, you know, hearing um, uh, kind of from that frontline perspective, you know, the challenges and the hard work that goes into it, it's inevitable. Um, that uh, ultimately this was the direction that we would go. So I am very, very uh, pleased to become a part and I encourage you to consider, um, not just because I'm also a board member, <laughs> but, uh, but nevertheless, it's, it's definitely a pleasure. I'm just happy to see people um, and we're practicing our social distancing this afternoon and uh, it's good to see you guys and thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Shandra and Marcy, um, and for the shameless plug for our Cornerstone member program, Shandra, and appreciate that. Um, it's now um, my time. Let's see. We're gonna. I'm gonna invite Rachel Rainey up um, from the Douglas County Sentinel and Times Georgian. She is one of our Chairman Circle members as well, and she is gonna present our 2020 Businesses of Excellence Awards.
Hi there. Get my eyes on. Good afternoon. Today we are excited to have a special program celebrating businesses in our community. It is an honor to recognize the important role that small businesses play in Douglas County and our economy. The Chamber Small Business Committee created the Business of Excellence in 2011, and since then, we have recognized over 96 businesses. Each recipient competed in a rigorous application and selection process, <clears throat> detailing company growth, innovation, community involvement, and adversity. I would like to take, thank you, <clears throat> that was good. I'd like to take a moment to thank our panel judges who helped with this year's selection. Jim McMitchin, Paulding County Schools, Cole Fannin, UWG Small Business Development Center, Carla Beatles, K Beatles Consulting, Janice Ritchie, Douglas County High School, Melissa Claiborne, Alexander High School, Greg Williams, Kaiser Permanente, Alicia Richards, New Man Manchester High School, Chris Pumphrey, Douglas County Economic Development, and Shanda Pemberton, PO Solutions, and myself. I now have the pleasure of recognizing the 2020 Business of Excellence. We have asked each of them to share in their key to success. First, Samantha Glass, All Print Marketing Media Solutions. Well, thank you very much and good afternoon, Douglas. I just wanted to uh, take this opportunity to thank the selection committee. Wow, what an honor to be um, selected among these wonderful um, fellow businesses. Um, it's truly an honor and a privilege. When we, uh, my husband, Donna Glass, wave Donnie, I wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be right to not recognize my my better half and my partner. But um, when we started All Print Marketing and Media Solutions in 2012, we already had over a good 20, 25 years um, experience in the print marketing and media industry. So the printing, the graphic design, the marketing, consulting, all of that came pretty natural to us. The one thing that really surprised me about being a business owner has been the opportunity to be involved in the community, the business community as well as the community as a whole. The things that it has allowed us to do to give back, to charity, to, um, to just become a fa that fabric knit of the community, whether that's helping other fellow businesses grow their business and contribute to the local economy, or whether that's um, giving back through our time and talents um, to charitable organizations, business associations, chambers, just that, um, that level of being involved in a great community as a whole has really been what has been the most fulfilling. And to receive a recognition like this um, is just icing on the cake uh, to let us know that, that we're moving in the right direction. So again, thank you so much for the honor and, um, and the privilege and um, congratulations again to all the other um, selections. Thank you. Thank you, Samantha. Christy Plowman, Boomerang Sanitation. Well, obviously I'm not Christy, but uh, <laughs> I'm, um, I'm her husband, Mike. Uh, we have been in business 
uh, since December of 2017. We actually started operating in 2018. Uh, our prior experience is that I used to own AOK -OK Trash Service. Uh, we served the county uh, as AOK -okay for about 21 years. Due to some personal reasons, uh, sold the business back in 2012 and thought that I would retire from this industry. But we had so many people come up to us and just ask us, you know, when we're getting back into the business, uh, you know, what we were going to do, what our plans were. Um, the response was just so great that we decided to go ahead and get back in as soon as our non-compete was up. And we have been blessed by God in so many different ways. Our business has grown uh, faster than we ever expected. Uh, we are very honored to be uh, given this award today. And we just like to thank uh, you know, the Douglas County Chamber, uh, its members for its support, uh, our community. Uh, we have uh, set ourselves aside. We are trying to change people's perceptive of what uh, to expect out of a trash service. Our business, we provide local uh, residential trash pickup for the community, and it's an industry not very well known for its service, but thanks to Christy and her public, uh, uh, you know, just service, uh, the way that she handles people's, uh, res you know, responses and stuff. Uh, it's just really been fantastic to get back into it, to serve the community and be a part of this uh, chamber. So we'd like to thank all of y'all and thank the community. All right, next we have Dr. Dimitri Arfanikis, Douglas Dental Care. Uh -huh. I did. I'm sorry. Ladies first. Ladies first. Peggy. <laughs> Peggy Burke at Burke's Grill. Thank you all for the nomination. Uh, we're very honored. Um, I'm not normally the speaker, Dwight is, <laughs> and I apologize for that. Um, most of you know he can't be here today because he had a fall on June 5th and had a really bad break in his leg, and he's laid up in bed for probably another three or four weeks uh, while it heals. Um, and then he's raring to go to get back in the restaurant cooking for y'all again because that's what he does best. Um, we're very honored to be nominated again for this award. Uh, it's something that we have strived to do. We've always wanted to be part of the community and support the community. Um, we pride ourselves in being a family business and being a place where you can feel like your family. Um, we pride ourselves in being able to support the law enforcement with their Captain Herb Fund um, and Pretty much all I have to say. I, I, I'm still honored to be up here again and to be included in all these wonderful businesses. And thank you all. Well, guess who? Dr. Dimitri Arfanikis Douglas Dental Care. Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri Arfanakis. Most of you, uh, I'm looking kind of across the room and I think I know most of everybody here. I want to thank everyone, uh, the selection committee uh, and, and for this nomination. It's, uh, it's a real honor uh, to be considered part of Douglas County um, through all the changes, all the difficulties, all the good times, all the bad times um, as, as we move forward. So uh, I'm really proud 
uh, of uh, what we've been able to accomplish. I want to thank my wife, Katie, who stands behind me just about every day. Um, you know, without her, I, I can't do what I do and help uh, our community. Um, I also want to thank the Douglas County Chamber. You guys have done such a fantastic job um, over the last, you know, three, four months. You always do a great job, but the innovation, the creativity to keep the businesses going, to stay connected through, um, you know, those web links, you know, that, that you guys are doing, uh, it just really means a lot that you guys support us all, um, you know, through, through things that we could never have imagined uh, uh, would happen. So uh, thank you so much. Um, thank you for helping the local restaurants and, and then also the first responders, uh, the doctors, the nurses, the uh, hospital administration as well. Uh, you guys done a, have done a fantastic job. Um, so Douglas Dental Care had a, a very successful year in 2019. Um, we built on the tremendous progress that we had in uh, 2018. Um, and we had such great growth that we've actually hired uh, two new dental assistants and a new dentist and we're going to continue to grow um, the trick is to maintain you know even though we're growing we want to maintain that small uh, dental office field uh, to the best of our abilities because sometimes you, you end up growing too too much you, you kind of lose sight of what you were doing in, in the first place so we're real cognizant of that and we want to make sure that we maintain that um, so obviously looking to the future 2020 has brought us a whole bunch of challenges um, with uh, COVID-19 um, and so um, the, the profession of dentistry should have already been practicing pretty much all the guidelines that you already see so I'm kind of speaking for just about the whole uh, the, the whole industry the whole profession um, you it is safe to go out to your uh, dental provider and get your treatment um, you know, all the guidelines have been there and not much has changed. Um, so um, what we did was reviewed and implemented protocols to help combat COVID-19. We reinvested um, uh, in our practice for long-term solutions, things that are going to be around even uh, past COVID-19. Uh, we kind of looked uh, and said, what can we do to just make things a little safer, whether it's COVID-19 or any other uh, problem going ahead um, and we've added air scrubbers to our ventilation systems we we've, uh, we have a Santa cart that we put in each treatment room and uh, it basically fogs uh, or atomizes um, the room uh, and then isolate which uh, pulls out about 90 percent of the aerosols that we create and so um, you know we, we've done some things that are going to be there for a long long time um, uh, and in short, you know, again, I want to thank everyone, uh, and, and I'd be remiss if I didn't say one more thing and how much I care about Douglas County and how much our team, uh, um, loves Douglas County. And so we're all in this together. And one thing I just want everyone to do, uh, is realize that, um, the community looks up to us, every single one of us, uh, as leaders. And so there are three things I'd like all of us to uh, continue to do, because uh, I do think uh, science is evolving and we've, we've kind of come down on these three things while we're going through COVID-19. Um, make sure we're socially distancing, doing, doing our six uh, feet apart from one another. Wear a mask when, you know, whenever possible, and then wash your hands or, or use hand sanitizer. If we do those three things, we can combat this thing and, and, and keep our Douglas County uh, community safe. So if we all do that, other people will look at us and see what we're doing. If we're doing it, then they'll also follow, uh, follow through and, and do it as well. So thank you very much. Next is John Schreer, Fame Internet Marketing. Good 
good afternoon. Uh, first, I'd like to thank the Douglas County Chamber. Uh, when we look back in our history to say when we launched, we always look back to, um, I think, an after hours event that we came to and gave an acceptance, uh, a welcome speech. Um, and somebody from the chamber at that meeting introduced us to somebody that became one of our landmark clients. And they're still with us today. And I think we have probably half of our clients traced back to that. Um, so we just really want to thank the chamber for all the ways that you've supported and, and promoted us and just um, events like this and all the networking events really for us, for somebody that does B2B is really indispensable. So thank you for that. Um, I wish we were doing this at a different time so our team could be here because it really is a team award. Um, the faces you see on the screen, um, dedicated professionals that each take their crafts uh, well deeper than I could ever go. I did this type of work by myself for a while. Um, and the designers, the coders, our strategists, the SEO experts really have just all taken to it. They love our customer base um, and spend a lot of extra time just really trying to understand the business, um, the community that we're in, who you're trying to reach, and so they can do their very best at their craft. And um, like I said, I thank you guys if you're watching. Um, I wish they were here with us, but thank you. Excuse me. Next is Ellen McBrayer, Jones Wynn Funeral Home and Crematorium. Hi, I'm uh, Ellen Wynn McBrayer, and this is Scott McBrayer. We are um, third generation with Jones Wynn Funeral Homes and Crematory. Thank you for this big honor. Um, it's humbling to be here. Um, the things that the funeral service industry are facing today, I know we've heard social distancing and COVID-19 and so many safety procedures, but it's hard on everybody. But the families that we're serving at this time, it's even harder. Um, the pain that they go through, whether their loved one passes away of this virus or not, most of them are, or their loved ones are passing away alone. So it's it's just a heartbreaking time. And for us to be able to be in funeral service, my grandparents started the funeral home in Villareca 70 years ago in 1950. My, my grandmother was one of the first women licensed in, in, in the state, if not the first. So we have three generations that were called into this, not born into it. And it's, it's our mission in life to care for families like they're our own. My mom and dad um, carried on the tradition when my grandparents, or my grandmother passed away, they took over. And in 1999, they opened the funeral home in Douglasville, uh, a Douglas Chapel, because at that time, the, the only family owned and operated at that time had sold out to a corporation. So they felt the calling. Uh, my dad took a leave of absence from the funeral home and built it as the, uh, the he, he led the construction, he drew it on a napkin, put his heart and soul into it. Um, and that was in 1999. The first thing they did before they laid one brick was join the chamber of Douglas County. Um, the heart of this community, like the speaker before said, um, the chamber has this bond and, and it is just, it's a family. And it, it, it's just an example of what Douglas County is. And we're so thankful. And, and, and honored to be a part of an amazing community, to be able to care um, in such a, a way that's unique, um, that not everybody I don't think can do. And some days, you know, it, it, our heart breaks every day for the families that we serve. We're also so proud that we are the only funeral home in Villarreal or Douglasville that has our own crematory um, on site in Douglasville. Douglas County was very open and welcome to that idea. And so many people are choosing that as an option. So we're blessed to have that. But Scott and I come together as the third generation and our team that are, that are watching now, we're a family serving family. So everyone that works with us, we have the strongest team right now that we've ever had in 70 years. And we treat every family like they're our own. But back to my parents, um, my dad and mom had that vision. And tomorrow um, will be 19 years that he passed away suddenly. I was in college, they were on their 30th wedding anniversary. We always said, they always said, we'll plan our funeral tomorrow, but tomorrow never came. 
but that was the moment that God called me and, and my husband a few years later into funeral service. And um, I never want to forget the pain so that we can always meet families um, where they need us to meet them, where their grief journey takes them. For example, during the COVID um, moment, we have just offered a, an online free grief counseling for anybody that needs grief help during the COVID situation, no matter what people are going through in life. So they can go on with amazing, a, a Dr. Jason, um, he's a counselor. And so we offer that right now, free to our community. Anybody can use a code and go on our website. If you need help, it just, it's the weird times that we're in, but it's so thankful for the chamber. So thankful for everybody here. Uh, it's hard because we're huggers in the funeral home. We love to hug on people, but so it's hard not to be able to hug everybody, but it's so good to be out. This is the first time um, that I've been out. Um, we have a team that works at the funeral home. We have a medically handicapped son too, who has a severe heart condition. So I work behind the scenes a lot. So it's good to be out and thank, thankful for our entire Jonesman family. They're watching. And so thank y'all for this big honor. So we're blessed to be here. Next is Nia Brown, um, Majestic Etiquette, LLC. To Madam President, Sarah Ray. To the hardest working chamber staff ever, let's give them a hand. Our generous supporters from Kaiser Permanente, to our distinguished honorees, and to all those assembled in person and virtually. Good afternoon. As stated, I am Nia Brown, etiquette cons consultant and owner of Majestic Etiquette. The word etiquette comes from a French term that means a ticket. If you think about it, you can hear it, etiquette, a ticket. And I like to think of etiquette as a ticket that provides access to opportunities and places that education and experience sometimes alone don't provide. In fact, a recent Harvard Stanford study revealed that 85% of workplace success is based on soft skills or social skills while less than 15% is based on technical skills. So the mission of Majestic Etiquette is to provide a wide variety of social skills training and development to children, youth, and adults to help them increase their success, not only in their chosen professions, but in their lives. We do this through a variety of HR topics and some of our clients include corporate executives, elected officials, corporations, local governments. But I honestly think the greatest success of Majestic Etiquette is the training that we provide to the next generation of leaders, our children. I am, I am especially proud of the work that we provide in serving marginalized student populations Sometimes these are high achieving children who might not otherwise have an opportunity to be exposed to dining etiquette skills, business etiquette, corporate protocol, social graces. And so it is my hope as I close that you will continue to see the work of majestic etiquette woven throughout the very fabric of our community, whether it is um, a conflict resolution workshop that we have provided to the city of Douglasville, or if it is um, a customer service workshop that we have provided to a local corporation. And of course, the dining etiquette skills that we provide to so many educational institutions throughout the Metro, including our very own Douglas County school system. It is our heartfelt intention to help all of our clients become polished professionals who are prepared to excel. I thank you kindly for this recognition and I would be remiss if I did not thank my husband, Glenn, who has been um, a remarkable support as well as our three children who are watching online and my mother as well, who have been 
uh, tremendous support from the very beginning of the vision of this company. I thank you again, and congratulations to you all. Next is Dr. Sarah President, Medicus Medical Clinic. Good afternoon. And how is everyone doing today? It is such a delight to be here. I am very pleased to be um, a part of this wonderful and incredible recognition from the Chamber and my Douglas County family. Thank you. I would like to say thank you to my husband um, for his support, his unwavering support for my, to my family, to our family, and to our children. I'd like to give God thanks for entrusting me with the gift of caring for others outside of myself. Um, I'd like to also thank my mom and my two daughters for their support. I love you all very dearly. Um, Medicus Medical Clinic has been a passion of mine and it was about uh, two years ago that I embarked on the journey of opening up this practice to serve my Douglas County community. I, since I moved here in Douglas County about 16 years ago, I enjoy the warmth of having to meet the people here in this county. And I, I, I mentioned it, that when I went to visit the chamber, because you know when you move into town, you wanna go into the chamber to find out exactly you know, what's in the community and what's going on. And the warmth and enthusiasm of the people and how they welcomed me, I said, oh, this is gonna be a really nice place to be in. So I have been really um, excited to be a part of this community. And I couldn't think of a community that was more fitting for me to start a practice, to um, help my neighbors, to assist patients, to help us to grow and to become a part of becoming self-care agents, because that's what I wanted people to do. I wanted to empower people to take care of themselves and to be able to know what they want, you know, to be able to help their families to accept um, their responsibilities and their roles into helping them to make decisions to help to take care of themselves. Um, I never envisioned, just like Florence Nightingale, the founder of um, modern nursing in the 19th century, that I would develop my peculiar gift to confidentiality. And um, so in this moment here, I would like to thank also the late Miss Loretta Ford, who was the founding, the, the founder of the first nurse practitioner program here in the US for her vision and her leadership that um, impacted the lives of nurse practitioners all over this country and the world, who dared to dream to, um, and, and to revolutionize healthcare. Um, as a nurse practitioner, I saw a deficit um, in the care and I wanted to be a difference maker. I came in with all gloves on and decided that I was going to get in there and get all dirty doing it too. <laughs> I am passionate about also hospice, but Medicus Medical is, uh, is, is such a, a rewarding um, duty for me um, to be able to sit with my patients, to listen to them, and to hear what their concerns are and to help them to the best of my ability. And we have done this well. And to this, we have had the honor of the recognition of knowing that we have done a great community service. We right now, due, due to the pandemic, we have decided to provide um, some voluntary service to people who call upon us and said, listen, I wanna get tested for COVID. My primary care is not able to, can you do it? So we've extended these services also to our community to help people get tested and to encourage them in the journey of their health and their well-being. I would like to, um, my goal here in Douglas County, outside of having to continue to work with the community, I really would like to build a legacy and to place my stamp on healthcare as I see it. I'd like to thank everyone for their support. Thank you.
Next would be Derek Thompson with Metro Garage Door Insulation Fireplaces Incorporated. Um, well, thank you for the uh, for the opportunity to be here. Um, you know, when when we were uh, when I was told I needed to be here, I, the first thing I thought about was having the opportunity to tell you about the people that work around me. And uh, there is no me without them. And um, the reality of it is, it took me several years, uh, quite a long time, to figure that out. But uh, we 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 finally got to a place where we realized that our success is only going to be through the people that we surround ourselves with. And we have spent many years, the last 10 or 12 years, really working hard at assembling a team that created a, a good experience for our customers and uh, made it easy to do business with us. And when we figured that piece of it out, we really started to flourish as a company and as a business. And, um, so I'm forever grateful for the staff and for the team that, that I work with. Uh, they make it a joy to do what we do on a daily basis. Um, again, there is no me without them. And lastly, I'd like to say the community. I am a lifelong resident born and raised in Douglas County. Uh, we continue as a company to try to figure out ways to give back to our community. Um, various ways that we choose to do that and we will continue to do that as long as we are here. Um, so thank you very much. We appreciate the opportunity. We appreciate the award. Thank you. Melissa Stallings, Stallings Insurance Agency. Mic adjustment for short people. <laughs> um, I'm humbled and honored to be here today, Melissa Stallings, Stallings Insurance Agency, um, and a little bit surprised to be honest. We've applied a few times, and I guess this year, year it hit the spot. So thank you to the panel of judges and to the Douglas County Chamber. Um, I can't say enough. My biggest regret was not getting involved in the chamber sooner. Um, as soon as I started my business in 2008. Um, as I think about what I would say today, I decided to look up the definition of excellence and Google defines it as um, quality, a quality, excellence is a quality of being outstanding or extremely good. And I can't think about excellence without thinking about my amazing team and um, our values and our brand. Our values are positive, polished and committed and our brand is family, faith and fun. Um, when I think about the past year, though, um, I feel like it was really survival and um, along with achievement and success, um, we had a number of obstacles, also known as blessings and changes. So we have a small staff. There's now seven of us, actually, and um, we're all women. So along with being women comes babies. <laughs> so in the past year, we had three new babies born um, in the agency and one wedding. Um, and before COVID happened, um, we got to explore truly working remotely. So um, one of my staff went and worked um, in Columbus, Georgia, and is mostly there full time. And then one worked from Costa Rica. So we got to experience and explore that too. Um, we had a new hire, which in a small agency is a big deal too. And then of course, overcoming COVID and I had a pretty big health scare. So um, growing through those changes and blessings was really, I think our biggest accomplishment last year. And um, I would be, um, I would be lacking without my team, of course, and I couldn't have done where our Stallings insurance wouldn't be where it is today without these amazing women. And I want to name them all. Um, Lori Lauderdale, who's also my amazing mother, and is with me here today. Holly Quinn, who's hopefully watching virtually. Um, Taylor Carnley, Leanne Harden, 
Whitney Ward, Crystal Rollins, um, y'all are amazing and you are excellent and you make Stallings Insurance Agency excellent. So thank you so much. Next is Patty Wank with Wank Travel. I brought notes, you know, I talk too long. <clears throat> But the print's big, so it's okay. I'll be in the time frame just fine. What an honor, wow, um, to get to be part of this and to be in such amazing um, group with the ones that are here and the ones that have come before. A little background with the blank travel. We were established in 2008. September of this year will be our 10th anniversary with the chamber, and that's where things really changed. Um, it had to do with the chamber, the leadership, the community, uh, those that really support. This is a county that does that every day, and they're there for each other and have been for years. This is also our sixth consecutive year to be named a business of excellence which is humbling beyond any measure that you can imagine. This has been a tremendous journey that we've been able to be on. <clears throat> As a travel agency, all of a sudden I had a whole lot of time. I'm not sure if you know why. <laughs> it sort of shut down. And other than changing people's trips or canceling or comforting or whatever, it was like, okay, so now what do we do in order to use the time wisely, which I think is what all of us have decided to do. So we decided we were going to make bank travel stronger with business tools and also with uh, a focus on wellness for families. Because of that, I ended up embarking on a lot of certifications that I felt like really would have, would send the message as to what our focus is about. So the um, first one was through the Travel Institute. It's the only organization in the travel industry that gives professional certification. Like obviously that can be done through college institutions, but this is within the industry. So uh, we ended up, I ended up going through all 15 modules, bought the book, did the two hour monitored um, test, which was really, uh, yeah, what you watch the clock is going as you're taking it. Try doing that. Um, and But we're now certified travel associate with the Travel Institute. I also felt that it was important to cut, touch an area that may not be taken care of the way that I feel that it should. So I, we are now certified autism travel professional. And that's through an organization called International Board of Credentialing and Continuing Education Standards. And again, that's the only institute and area that you can do that. We are a certified accessible travel advocate, and that's through the special needs group. And also meaningful travel ambassadors, and that's through an organization called Tourism Cares. Um, and these have all been very eye-opening, doing a lot of research trying to make sure that we really bring the best that we can to those of us that are our clients. Be sure and check with us for any updated travel changes and guidelines, as well as any trips that you want assistance with planning. Those guidelines are coming through constantly, they're changing. And as an agency, with what I'm seeing is there will be things that'll change and that will be eventually the masks and so on. But I think what the travel industry is seeing and doing is the fact that the cleanliness and the safety procedures that are going to be implemented 
uh, clients and guests are not going to, they want to have that and I, that will continue. So to be able to watch and see what's going on in the industry for that area. <clears throat> I wanted to end with this. And before I do that, um, all of you know that there's no way that I could be up here doing the business and doing what I'm supposed to be doing without my better half. Um, we are one word, it's either Stan and Patty or Patty and Stan, and it's, that's it. Just like Samantha and Donnie, that's, that's one word. It's one name, that's who they are. Um, so it's, he does the financial and the headache part, and I go out and have the fun and figure out what to do with the little money that we are making. So I wanted to leave with this. Families in our communities and country are in need of strengthening. Wank Travel believes that travel is a door to new adventures, family bonding time, experiencing the historical value and cultural diversity, both in our country and abroad, as well as a time to recreate and rejuvenate. Wank Travel is the key to opening that door. We do the work so you can create your forever memories. In addition to being part of the planning and booking process, we also focus on the wellness and safety of our clients. Thank you. And we have Brandon Griba with West Georgia Cornhoe Incorporated. Welcome everybody. Uh, my name is Brandon Grieba, founder and owner of uh, West Georgia Cornhole. Uh, I just want to first thank the chamber and Sarah. It's been a been a wild year. I know she beginning of the year was probably getting tired of me calling her every other day, asking what's going on with uh, the ever changing weeks. So it was definitely a challenge. So thank you. Uh, thanks for all the um, the committee who voted us in and stuff like that. And congrats to everybody else too on on your award and being here today. So I get that out of the way. Um, a little bit about West Georgia Cornhole. We started in my two-car garage, I claim, back in 2009. My wife will probably uh, dispute that, but I think that's when I made my very first cornhole board. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to claim that as my start date. Um, but then in 2013, I, I found out quickly that we needed to make a change and either do it full-time or kind of scale things back. So I quit my full-time job in 2013, and we uh, went full bore on doing this. So I can see here we got... 45 something employees probably hitting 50 by the end of the week so i give it up to these guys these are some some hard working dudes and gals so some department girls um but uh we make cornhole boards if you don't know what cornhole is it's an outdoor yard game um probably was seen on espn here recently so we're uh pretty heavily involved in that kind of big push and then hopefully it's going to be in the olympics in 2028 so that's the goal. So we're we're uh, leading the charge from the equipment side of it, and so shipping stuff all over the country, all over the world to kind of gear up and prepare for that. So it's been fun. It's been cool. It's been challenging, but uh, you know we've stayed strong. We've had ups and downs, and cried and sweat and tears. So it's it's been good up to this point. So we uh, we're gonna keep pushing and uh, keep doing this thing. So uh, but I appreciate it, everybody, and uh, that's West Georgia Cornell. A big, huge congratulations to all of our businesses of excellence. Everybody give each other a hand. For more information on each of these outstanding businesses, be sure to read your programs on the table and your Douglas County Sentinel next week. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel, for uh, partnering with us every year to offer this um, recognition for our outstanding businesses and for also doing mic control and making sure that we're all as, <laughs> as sanitary as we can be up here today.
Um, if you are interested in learning more about our businesses, as Rachel said, we've got some information on the tables. It'll be in the Sentinel. We also, each of the businesses that were recognized today have a, about a two minute video that we are gonna be promoting out over the next weeks, but we're also gonna show all of the videos after the luncheon. So if you wanna stick around and see the videos, you're more than welcome to do that. We would love to have you. Um, now for a few quick chamber announcements. We are proud to announce that we will continue with our Chamber of Golf Classic sponsored by Greystone Power, and it will be um, October the 2nd at Mirror Lake Golf Club. We're just getting ready to launch all the information, but go ahead and save that date. Um, next week on July 21st, the Douglas County Economic Development Authority and Chamber are partnering to host a virtual job fair for employment opportunities in Douglas for Douglas County businesses. There's no charge to participate and employers are just required to submit their job postings prior to the job fair and all attendees will receive an event link upon registration. So if you have questions about that, um, it's all, all the information is on our website and Breezy is actually here today. So if you have interest or have open positions or know somebody that is looking for a job, just make sure and get connected with us. Our Advancing Modern Professionals in Douglas Young Professionals Program is hosting a virtual politics power breakfast on July 29th via Zoom, and attendees will hear from local and state elected leaders. The event is free to attend, and it's on Zoom, and um, it's for all ages, but we do ask that you register, and you can visit our website to get registration information on that. So again, I just want to take the opportunity to thank you all for coming here today and joining us. Um, it's great to see everyone's faces. Our virtual attendees, we hope that you enjoyed this and also want to give a special shout out to Greystone Power as our naming sponsor of the luncheon. So um, again, stick around if you want to watch the videos and have a great afternoon. Thank you, everybody. Hi, well thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today and what an honor it is to be selected as one of the top businesses of excellence this year. I'm Samantha Glass and along with my husband Donnie, we own All Print Marketing and Media Solutions. So as marketing professionals with a passion for print, we offer everything you might require in your daily printing needs as far as um, everything that you would need from your marketing materials, your business cards, brochures, uh, your daily office materials, invoices, letterhead stationery, those kind of day-to-day -day print needs, as well as your uh, large format and expo style materials such as banners, small signage, we do custom event tents, custom table throws, Everything that you would need to market your company, we can help with from custom des uh, graphic design and layout through the print process all the way to delivery and shipping. We are a true one-stop shop. One thing that makes our business unique is that since we are a commercial print firm, um, we don't have a copy shop type storefront. So we provide custom one-on-one -on -one relationships with our clients. This allows us to keep our overhead low and pass those savings along to our customers. While most of our business is done in the metro county areas, um, because of the nature of our business, we can ship nationally, so we have national clients as well as a few international clients as well. Well, from the beginning, a big part of our mission was to give back to the community and how can we help small businesses and therefore help our community at large. And so we are very involved in volunteering in the community, giving of our time, our talents, and also of funds, and working very closely with our nonprofit customers and our charitable organizations that we can give back to through being business leaders in the community and turning that into being leaders in the community as well. We really enjoy working with not only small businesses, family owned businesses, but um, our, our corporates that are dedicated to the community as well. And just being part of that fabric and the, um, and the close knit uh, community is very enjoyable um, for a small family owned business like ours.
Hunt. I'm Mike, and this is Christy Plowman. Uh, we own Boomerang Sanitation. We serve Douglas County and parts of Paulding and Carroll for residential trash service. Right, and can you share with us why you started? I had owned another trash service in the past, and we kept getting uh, people stop us on the street that would recognize us in the stores, uh, just anywhere, really. Uh, they would ask us, when were we getting back into it? Were we getting back into it? Why did we leave it? Right, <laughs> and so there was enough of... Uh, a demand that when the time came that we could get back in, uh, Christy and I thought about it, prayed about it, and it just seemed the right thing to do. Well, Smunk is a really hard worker, and he, the intent was to sell AOK -OK trash service and then retire, and that lasted about a month and a half, and he said, that retirement's not for me, I'm going to have to do something else, and this is the industry he knew and loved, and that's why we got back in it. Well, we are a company that specializes in customer service. We try to treat our customers with the utmost respect and we try to honor God in all that we do. I think as um, as Christians, we try our best to you know treat people right and to um, honor God with what we what we do and what we say and how we treat people. And so the mission um, as a whole for Boomerang is just to honor God with our efforts and to serve people well. The people, the, the, our neighbors and friends and just learning people, uh, getting to know people in the community and uh, just, you know, that's, I think, the biggest blessing that we get is uh, just interacting with all the customers and other people in the county. We've both lived here over 25 years. We raised our children here. We go to church here. So we like serving the people that we live and function with. It's not serving a bunch of strangers. Like Mike said, it's working to uh, serve well the people that we have known for years and have lived in this community with us. Dwight Burke. Peggy Burke. We're the owners of Burke's Grill here in Douglasville, Georgia. I'm now retired from Red Lobster. This is kind of my dream because we opened up almost eight years ago and we've been more successful than I thought we ever would be. It's a very eclectic menu. So it's, when I went to culinary school, I learned a lot of different things. We met and got married in New Orleans. It's, we do Cajun, we do paleo, we do gluten free, we do traditional Southern. Um, it's very very eclectic menu, stuff that I like to make. We looked at a lot of different sites. In culinary school, they teach you a good chef-run business. It's about 40 seats where you can cook the food and visit your tables. We've expanded to about 68, 72. 72. It also had to have an exposed kitchen where people could look in. Uh, I read a survey years ago that says 88% of the public feel better about looking into the kitchen because they want to see who's cooking their food. So that was one of the things we look for, and this, this space fit those criteria. Good people. We're, we're very close to our clientele and, and our employees. It's, you know, mission statement, that's, we try to learn everybody's name. When Captain Herb passed away, his wife and Peggy got together and created the Captain Herb's plate, which is a vegetable plate with four. We only had three and came up with a Captain Herb's fund where police could eat three once a week uh, or all first responders, right? And we're not. We can see you should do that when you came here to eat. Um, any police, any firemen, paramedic, you would take the meal. Thank you.
My name is Dr. Dimitri Arfanakis. Uh, this is Douglas Dental Care. Welcome. And uh, we provide general dental services to our patients, uh, ranging from cleanings to whitening to tooth colored fillings, to crowns, bridges, uh, extractions, just very, uh, just a wide array of different services. Thunder Health Care is located at 5897 uh, Stewart Parkway in Douglasville, Georgia. Uh, we've been here for about almost three years. Uh, Douglas Dental Care is unique because we have probably the most state-of-the-art dental equipment uh, in, in Douglas County. Uh, we built this facility about three years ago. And, uh, from the countertops to the equipment, to everything that, that you see, um, we've made sure that uh, all the equipment is as up to date as it possibly can be uh, on the forefront of all the technology. Douglas uh, County is a great place uh, to not only work, uh, but to also live in. Uh, I truly believe that uh, working and living in the same uh, area is what makes us want to do better at what we do because everything that we do here where we work is going to benefit our community. Uh, I think Douglasville, uh, Douglas County uh, has a great, great community uh, that really cares about uh, what goes on in, inside of this Hi, welcome to Faith. Come on in. We have Marcus Inyang. He's one of our account executives. Hey. Very active in the chamber. Here we've got Pierre Cloud, our team leader, Scrum Master. Hello. This is John Shear, founder, visionary here for Fame, as well as Chris Stanfield. Hey. Leads our biz dev team. This is Isaac Clark. He's the uh, lead writer, he does a lot of our content, as well as one of our account executives. This is our development team. We got Josh Hooper and Levinson Acevedo. This <laughs> is Matthew. He's our designer. This is Ian White, he's an uh, admin assistant. Hi, I'm Will Thornton, and I'm a partner and operations manager here at Fame Marketing. We're located on the corner of Church and Kilton Streets in downtown beautiful Douglasville. And I'm Chris Stanford, I'm the director of business development and marketing strategy here at Fame. So what, what makes Fame unique is, is a number of things. On the surface, we're the conduit between a business's business objectives, their revenue, what they want to achieve, and marketing solutions that actually move the needle. Um, I spent many years up at larger agencies in Buckhead, and when I was looking at a place to come, I had a lot of commute, almost 17 hours, and when we talked with John and Will here, one of the main things they talked about fame was, we, not just, we don't just want to serve local businesses, we want to create great local jobs as well here, jobs that people don't want to leave. And so that's been a huge blessing for us. Um, the main unique thing is that most of our services are all in-house. So we're known really for website development and design, but we also do everything from branding, messaging, graphic design, and digital and print offerings as well. So I grew up here in, in Douglas County and um, have deep roots here. My dad was a part of the Douglas County School System and retired from there just a few years ago. Um, so much of my background and roots and history is here. So many of my uh, networks and social life and church life is rooted here in Douglas County. That um, it's my desire that Douglas County have a thriving marketing company that can provide really fine-tuned, well-established principles for taking their businesses further. 
Um, it's not just that for the for us. It extends to our team. We want to be able to provide local people who have a desire um, the opportunity for a fantastic place to work, a place that understands, hey, life happens, and you got to leave a little bit of a margin, a little bit of room for disasters and craziness, and yet who have a, uh, a deep desire to be professional and to provide quality services for the people in our area. Douglas County is full of passionate enthusiastic people and specifically business owners that don't want to pick up a business and move somewhere else that this is their home i can remember moving here in 2007 and so much has changed and yet it always continues to get better and when there's a thriving community and an energy that a marketing company can feed off of it's the perfect combination i think to to get real results Scott McBrayer, one of the licensed funeral directors at Jonesman Funeral Homes and Crematory. Uh, we have locations in Douglasville and Villarica, and uh, we are a full service provider uh, when it comes to funerals and cremations. That's what makes Jonesman so unique is the fact that we take every need that a family brings to us and we listen to those needs. Uh, not only do we listen to those needs, but we create and tailor make services and um, uh, adaptations. We, we look at what the family needs and we meet those needs. And so we, we pride ourselves on that, uh, the care and compassion that we use uh, within our staff. Uh, we work very, very hard to make sure that we hear what the family uh, is asking for, even if they're not asking, it, even if they're not saying it. And we try to listen. And so we try to provide that mixed with the love and compassion that we provide to each and every family, just like they're our own family. We've been in business since 1950 in our Villarica location, and so this year is our 70th anniversary. So we're celebrating 70 years this year. Uh, in 1999, uh, we opened our Douglasville location, and the biggest reason for that was at the time, the only family-owned and family-operated funeral home uh, had just sold to a corporation. And so that left Douglasville and Douglas County and the, the, the community here. It left them without a, a, a family-owned, family-operated uh, funeral service. And so that's what we did. Uh, uh, my my wife's parents, uh, Dana and Charles Wynn, uh, they began to pray, and, and the, the, the Lord opened doors uh, for a second location. And, and here we are today, uh, almost 21 years later. We love most about doing business here in Douglas County and Douglasville. Um, we have tried constantly to be aware of the community. We've tried to see that the community has um, families who have needs. Uh, one of the most important things that we've seen has been the addition of our crematory. Uh, we have the only crematory in Douglas County. Everything is here in Douglasville on site. And so we're able to meet the needs of families. That's become such a, uh, an important part of families' decisions when they have a loved one that passes away. And, and so about 2010, we sat down and had a conversation amongst our family. And we decided that it was time for us to be able to help the families in Douglasville and Douglas County. And not only there, but in, in the uh, Villarica, which actually neighbors in part of Douglas County. So we have a very unique circumstance, very unique setup and situation. And we're able to help families and to be able to provide that help for families when they come in and they say, okay, so you mean you do everything, so we don't have to worry. No, you don't have to worry. We want to give you peace of mind. And so just to be able to meet with the families in Douglasville and Douglas County and be able to develop that relationship with them and develop the, the ability to be able to, to have conversations about their pain and them feel like they can do that with us. Uh, those are some of the, the greatest things that, that drive us. The ability to be able to help a family that really and truly comes to us and says we're exhausted, we're tired, we are worn, we really don't know what to do next. That's when they look at us and say we need your help. And that's when we look back at them and we say, you know what, that's what we're here for. And so we're going to meet you where your needs are. We're going to meet you and help you. And we're going to walk with you through this journey.
I am Nia Brown, etiquette consultant and owner of Majestic Etiquette. Majestic Etiquette provides social skills training to children, youth, and adults to help them become more successful in their chosen professions as well as in their lives. I think what makes Majestic Etiquette unique is the wide variety of the background of our clients. On any given day, I might work with elected officials or corporate executives. On another day, I might work with uh, police departments or firefighters. And then by the end of the week, I might be hanging out with elementary school students. So the work certainly keeps me on my toes, but it's different and fun every day. You know, the mission of Majestic Etiquette is really based in, um, let me illustrate. There is a recent Harvard Stanford study that reveals 85% of workplace success is based on soft skills, while less than 15% is based on technical skills. So again, the mission of Majestic Etiquette is to help children, youth, and adults become proficient, become more successful in their social skills so that they're more likely to be successful in their careers as well as in their everyday lives. their careers, as well as in their everyday lives. Their careers, as well as in their everyday lives. Their I'm pleased to present the 2019 Alumni Achievement Award to Ms. Sarah President, South University Savannah graduate, Master of Science in Nursing, Family Nurse Practitioner, Class of 2014. My name is Sarah President. I am a board certified family nurse practitioner at the Medicus Medical Clinic. I have been practicing for more than 20 years in various disciplines of the healthcare profession. I am committed to providing excellent care to my patients and innovative tactics to facilitate health and disease management. When my patients come to the clinic, my primary objective is to sit and listen before I provide care. My hope is that my patients' lives will be transformed every day by providing holistic care and education and allowing our patients to become their self-care agents. We are located at 5846 Stewart Parkway, Suite A, Douglasville, Georgia, 30135. Hi, everybody. My name is Sarah President, and I am so happy to be a part of the Douglas County community. I operated Medicus Medical Clinic here in August of 2018, and it has been a fun and exciting journey here for me. I decided to choose Douglas County to be the community where I would serve my people, my neighbors, this community, and uh, it has been quite rewarding. I remember when I moved into town here in Douglas County about 16 years ago, I walked into the chamber and the, the enthusiasm and the warmth that I received uh, when I walked in through those doors was one that had a lasting impression upon me. And I decided that living here would be such a wonderful place to be. Many years later, I decided to open up the Medicus Medical Clinic. I have served this community with everything that I've got because I love my, the people here in the Douglas County. I could not think of any other place to have provided the services that I have done over the years. Um, and I'm, I'm so proud to be a part of a community where there is growth and development and change. I love the people at the Chamber of Commerce 
ever since I started this business, they have been so supportive. And the members of the chamber have rallied around us as business owners to give us their full support and to allow us to be as successful as we want it to be. The chamber has been very supportive here and I think it's part of what really made me want to continue doing business here in Douglas County. I am uh, Derek Thompson. I'm the owner and operator of Metro Garage Door Fireplaces and Insulation. Uh, we are a provider to uh, not only homeowners, but also building contractors and also commercial general contractors for all of those products, for garage doors, for insulation, and for fireplaces. We are located in downtown Douglasville, uh, just on the outskirt, uh, western side of uh, Douglasville. So we service metropolitan Atlanta uh, frequently and even at some points in the southeast. So uh, we are pretty mobile. We have a group of phenomenal people that come here every day. Uh, they are dedicated to what we're trying to do, which is create a happy customer experience. Uh, we we talk about uh, we talk about on a routine basis about metro culture and trying to create a culture that facilitates people genuinely wanting to be here on a daily basis. Uh, that completely transcends into every customer experience by having somebody that is there that wants to be. So that's truly our difference. It's, it is the people that choose to be here on a daily basis. Your business for yourself, you, you take on the, the responsibility of the people that come here. So I have a huge mission and a huge purpose of saying that not only am I taking care of the, the 60 people that come here every day, but I'm taking care of their people, their families as well. And the way that I have found that the best way to accomplish that goal is, is to making sure that our customers have happy experiences. And so it is the utmost importance that we as a company create an easy to do business with environment mm -hmm. and, and create a um, culture that empowers your people to take care of your customers. And I think that we've done that in, in many ways and we have a great group of people that choose to do that every day with us. The Metro Garage Store has been in business 26 years. Uh, we purchased a company called L&W Fireplace and Insulation that has been in business for 41 years. So, uh, combination between the two, we always kind of kind of piggyback on the 41 years, and uh, but but we've all been here quite a long time. I've got some very senior people here that have been doing this for quite a while. So, um, I have been in Douglas County for 48 years. Uh, I was born and raised here. I'm 48 years old. So. Um, Everything about everything I have ever done in my life has been centered in Douglasville, Douglas County. Um, I still continue to live here. I choose to call it my home. So, um, I mean, I'm truly invested in the community and I continue to reinvest in the community. We do things throughout the year. It's for the Boys and Girls Club. It's for the first responders. Um, we do many things to try and show our appreciation for what this community has done for us. So, we are rooted. Um, uh, it's home to me, continues to be home for me, and uh, I continue to want the best for her. But it's been, it's uh, the first responders luncheon we do every year around September 11th. Uh, it has become such a, a feel good scenario for me and everybody that comes to this building. It's such a labor of love. Um, so we, you know, through the support of the community, um, through our support, we, we put on a lunching that provides a fantastic meal for all of our first responders. We make sure that every single one of them leaves here with a care bag that usually has 50 or $60 worth of, whether it's gas cards or, or you know, QT cards or Dunkin' Donuts cards or, you know, things like that. And then we generally have support of uh, Ace Hardware or uh, Macintosh Insurance. And they usually chip in a, a big green egg or a 70 inch TV. So we usually have those four or five or six big ticket items that we have drawings for. 
So everybody is entered into the ethic that comes and attends and they all get a great lunch. And, uh, and at the end of the day, we've worked really hard and we all feel fantastic about it. So it's a feel good day for me and a lot of folks. Melissa Stalling with Stalling Insurance Agency and for full service brokerage um, for insurance. So uh, home, auto, flex, and commercial insurance. I started the agency in 2008, so we are coming up on 12 years in September. Very exciting and crazy. Um, so our values and our brand um, will probably exhausted if we're talking about them, but they really do make us unique. So I've uh, demolished and committed. My staff all know our values and we're very focused on them. So we really try to make um, our values lead into our work too. Um, but also our brand, which is kind of a newer thing that we've grown and established is family, faith, and fun. And I think the fun part is really what we um, added to insurance and making insurance fun because a lot of times people think about insurance and I call it the ick factor. Like, insurance, I don't want to talk about it, I don't want to deal with it, I don't want to do it. So um, we're big about building rapport with our clients and having fun with them and getting to know them so that we can adequately recommend coverage and uh, write insurance for their family and the entire big picture not just specifically what they need. Really those values, um, but mostly, it's good to up. <laughs> mostly it's family because um, my team has really um, made the, the agency what it is today. And without them, I wouldn't be where I am. So I really feel like they all should be sorry. <laughs> I really feel like they all should be sitting here. It's not a great interview without somebody crying, right? <laughs> So um, my team is amazing and I love every one of them like family and um, they have made it so that I can step away and be one before and be a good wife. <laughs> um, and, you know, really, I, and that's so important to me for them too. I want them to have a career that they can, um, that is flexible with their family too. Um, but at the same time, get their job done and the work done. But I have a good time working here so much. We spend so much time at work and sometimes more than we do with our families. So um, my biggest mission is to be able to support our families, um, have fun, and um, thank God while doing it all the same time. We are Stan and Patty Wank. The company is Wank Travel. We provide travel arrangements. Anyone can go any place, any time, any way that they want to go and do what they want to do, and we can help them make those arrangements. Setting up the uniqueness for each company can be one of the, I think, one of the most challenging things that a company does because we you know, we each offer services that are of high caliber, but I think the thing that sets us apart within our community is the commitment that we have to others, and that shows through the community service that we do. We're involved with a lot of the nonprofits that are here in Douglas County. We also work with the high schools, with all of the schools actually. Um, on, on the partner and education board. So as a former educator, that's something that's huge. Um, we also do a lot of other work. So when a client knows the passion and the commitment that we have to working with others in our community, I think they have a better sense and a feel that that's what we're going to offer to them. Because this is, whatever trip it is, it's something special for the client. It needs to have that total attendance, and they need to know that we're going to help them create whatever it is that they want as their whatever memory for their travel. Actually, we can book 
anything, whether it might be um, a trip to Chateau Alain, which we just went to for our wedding anniversary. It can be uh, someplace in the Caribbean. I have uh, two honeymoon couples that are actually booking now for Jamaica. We can book into Mexico, but also do a lot of trips in Europe. And that's something that's going to be on hold for a while. Um, of course, of course, do cruises. <clears throat> I do nonprofit fundraising cruises that someone might want to check with me on, find out what they can do. It's a fun way to raise money for a, a nonprofit. I also am certified with the Travel Institute, which is comparable to a college course that I paid for and took and passed the exam. So I'm now considered a certified travel agent through the travel industry. I'm also certified as an autism travel specialist. I'm doing, uh, wanting to do more as far as accessible travel. I feel that that's an area that people need extra help and that they know that that might be something that, that I can help with. And then I just finished a certification for sustainable travel. And that was very eye-opening uh, to see some of the things that are going on and how I can help clients actually be part of sustaining our environment, not only here, but obviously in other countries. Well, we moved here 17 years ago because uh, Stan is a minister and we, he is preaching at Beulah Church of Christ right here in Douglas County. Anytime we've moved, it's always been important to both of us that we become involved in the community. And once we started our business in 2008, we knew that within, by 2009 is when we went ahead and decided to be part of the chamber. Because I think that's the only way you really have a good feel for the businesses and the people and what's going on. But it's also a way that you know that you're contributing and that you're being part of the community. And so um, being part of the chamber, but also, as I mentioned before, the number of different organizations uh, that we're part of, because if we're not giving back, then I think all we're doing is taking, and that's not what we're about, and that's not what any business in our community should be about. And getting to know the business owners, because we are a community that cares about our children, that cares about uh, diversity. We're a community that works very hard to find what the areas are and what needs there are, uh, which is part of the, the core, which is another nonprofit I'm part of. But it's finding out what the families need, what can we do, and how it is that we can be a benefit. Um, we're supposed to give back, and that's what I believe that, that we do, and that's the passion that we have within our community and Douglas County's home. We're not going anywhere else, so you'll just keep seeing us over and over again. Um, but we love being here, and it's our home, and we just want to know how we can be of assistance and help. My name is Brandon Grable, owner and founder of Westfield's Cornhole, uh, Winston, Georgia. We're uh, in our warehouse here. The Bobby did that for about three years. The Bobby turned into a full time gig in 2013. That's a great game to go over and show you one thing Yeah, it's a lot of holidays, pretty big for us, so we get a lot of feedback, you know, pictures and open gifts and stuff, so 
Thank you. 